larvae chickens to Newcastle disease? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can effectively treat Newcastle disease in your chicken and also how you can prevent future outbreaks. So don't go anywhere, stay with me and let's discuss this. Welcome to our channel where we provide helpful tips and advice for all your farming needs. In this video, we are going to be discussing the Newcastle disease in chickens. Newcastle disease is a highly contagious disease that affects chickens and could cause severe respiratory problems to um, even death. But with helpful tips and the right management um, practices, you will be able to keep your chickens healthy and also happy. Understanding Newcastle disease in chickens. The Newcastle disease could be in the form of an acute occurrence where you begin to lose bed all of a sudden to a mild um, occurrence where the birds begin to show off certain um, clinical uh, signs. And so it's very important to know what these uh, symptoms are when your birds are infected with Newcastle disease. So first, let's look at these. Start for these signs and symptoms if your birds have Newcastle disease or if there is an outbreak of Newcastle disease on your farm. Sneezing. Nasal discharge. Coughing. Greenish watery diarrhea. Depression. Muscular tumors. Muscular tumors. Dropping wings. Complete paralysis. Swelling of the tissues around the eyes and in the neck. Increased death loss in the flock. Where the beds are laying, there is a complete drop in egg production. And also, there could be sudden death in your flock. So these are the signs and symptoms if there is any form of um, Newcastle disease outbreak. Uh, sorry, if there is any form of Newcastle outbreak. Newcastle disease virus is transmitted through infected beds, droppings, and also discharge from the mouth, the nose, or even the eyes. Now, in simple terms, what happens is that if a farmer touches bed A, which has the virus, and goes to touch bed B, which does not have the virus, then there's a possibility that the virus will be transmitted to bed B because the farmer has carried the virus. Now, this virus could survive in manures or even on, on beds for several weeks, especially in warm and humid environments. Now, the, the farmer, through the daily operations or daily activities on the farm, could carry the virus on his shoes, on the feeding materials, even the, the vehicles that are used on the farm, as well as the feeding materials such as the feeders. All these materials could help to transport the virus from an infected area or an infected bed to another, or that is where there is no infection. So as a farmer, there is the need to be very careful when you are moving from one flock to the other, or when you are moving on the same farm to take care of your beds. Thank you for watching this session. Please don't forget to come back to continue to watch the remaining sessions as we delve into the Newcastle disease in chickens. So that when we are done with this complete video, every farmer will be equipped on how to handle the Newcastle disease in chickens. Thank you for watching this video and bye-bye.